Hey there, it's Alex. We're gonna do another Peacekeeper Alex gaming stream. This is gonna be Peacekeeper Alex gaming stream number nine. I and others to find Pemain Spirit Guides are advocating for the light in those teams that Pemain Spirit Guides need in regards to this marketing education, etc. To find Pemain Spirit Guides to do what Pemain Spirit Guides need in regards to this stream, broadcast, content, etc. To find Spirit Guides in regards to the Peacekeeper Alex gaming stream number nine and others to find Pemain Spirit Guides the way Pemain Spirit Guides need it. All right. Let's get on. Do, 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 do. New battle. Let's do custom. Alright. What should the themes be on this one? Why not banners? That's a good one. Banners. See, I think of some of the big names when I think of banners. Let's see here. We'll do banners against... Concepts? <laughs> concepts. That's a big one. It's a good one. So the idea here is, uh, you know, we put sort of a, a certain kind of inspired theme in regards to the battles. Uh, certain battles. And... Uh, there's certain concepts in regards to the spirit around us, one of which happens to do with banners, nations, factions. Imagine that there's a concept like that where there's certain factions, banners, nations, and, you know, of the such, uh, in regards to, uh, the, you know, the concept itself, you'd, you'd see, like, different kinds of nations. You think about Earth-based physical nations, you'd think of, you know, you'd see the, the, the Americans, the Canadians, the Australians, the British, and, and a wide range of others as well. But there's some people who consider that concept to be all nations, banners, factions, etc., if I'm in spirit guides. Another good one would be banners versus bannerless. Now, that would be really good. <laughs> oh, God. Tsao Tsao. I think of Tsao Tsao. I might be wrong. I think some of the big names in regards to these are all big names. They're all big names. That is correct. I just I think I think it was partially on the cover. I'm fairly certain. <laughs> it's not meant that way. You are correct. Hong Zong. Xu Hong. That there is correct. It is. This is the true. All right. Let's go. Xu Hong. 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 There we go. Banners. Let's see here. All right, well, Zeng Fei, that's a good one. He'd be good, because he would be good. This is the case of this. He'd be perfect. Kong Sun Zan. All right. Can I have a banner look to it? I that would work. We go about over here. Uh, so we think about. Uh, I guess we'll go concepts. So concepts. That's a that's a big one <laughs> because you know there's a lot of different kind of concepts. I think of elders and ancients. <laughs> oh jeez, Alex, come on. Well, but that is also it. They can come in many different forms. Uh, there's many different kinds. <laughs> All right. Well, that would be why. Well, that would be. I think there can be. You want Shao? All right then. Uh, let's do. We're gonna do romance mode. We're gonna do uh, regular. We're gonna do Imperial Chancellor as well as uh, General. some of the advanced units we're going to get here. I guess we'll go cavalry. Heavy tiger and leopard cavalry go three units. And the three units John sword guard cavalry or saber cavalry? I think we'll go saber cavalry. Cavalry general. I will go uh, John sword guards, four units. Two units of saber militia. And two units giant militia. As well as four white horse fellows. So the banners are, are packing some archers. And some decent cavalry as well. Uh, 
he is sort of a specialist in regards to crossbowmen. I mean, we have bowmen here. Repeating crossbowmen. We'll go... Four bowmen, I guess. Hmm. Mounted Lancer Militia and s Mounted Saber Militia. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to go with a lot of cavalry, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. What can he pack with? Decent units here. Hmm. Giant militia. Maybe go Warriors of Yi. Eight hundred, four fifty. So I guess we'll go Warriors of Yi. But is he going to be? Are they sword infantry? They look. Maybe they are sword infantry. I don't know. Medium halberd. Hmm. That's really it then. All right. Archers are gonna be. I'm gonna bring them to eight or ten. We're going to ten, and. Bring two horsemen up to ten, but we want, I guess, a tiger. A little more. Banding farmland. Taokin. It's a Tao Tao. Taokin leading the forces of concept and concepts. If you're picky. <laughs> and uh, Tao Tao leading the uh, armies of banner and banners. If you're needed set a certain way. <laughs> oh, this game looks amazing. Absolutely stunning. These guys are ready to go. <laughs> First, last one was. Alright, the cavalry look really well done. Heavy Tiger and Leopard Cavalry look really cool. And I was looking at it from the opposite angle there on their end, so that's going to be interesting. Okay. That was really cool. Freaking heck. I thought I was going to have to maneuver something... Uh, Sort of looking at it from uh, the opposite enemy's side. I have a memory to be protected. Which guys need to get it. We have some Bowman Cavalry, White Horse Fellows. Okay. Are these Bowman Cavalry? How are these guys in number one already? Well, they are Bowman Cavalry. Okay, well, that's interesting. I wasn't expecting that. Give these guys a uh, stance. Crane's left wing. Crane's left wing. I'm going to 
try and do uh, cavalry's on the wings. So we'll do uh, the crane's left wing, and then we'll do the crane's right wing. I did like to go with almost the uh, tiger stance. This hill. You can hear the chanting of the soldiers as their feet march upon the ground. See the horsemen already lining up. Bowmen are already starting to go on it. See the arrows, arrowmen are already here. The crossbowmen, my bad. Crossbows right, right in the front. And they're just hitting my troops right now. So they kind of got to get out of this area here. And we're just going to, we just, I think a frontal assault right on that little hill. There's already a challenge here. Looks like we're going to win this relative strength similar. So we will engage that gong. Sun Zan is engaged in single combat. Who's he facing here? Is it Yuan Shao? There we go. It's a perfect battle. Let's battle. We need to see this a bit here. There we go. General's fighting. As the units start marching past. Whoa, enemy general cutting right through on troops uh, um, on my side. Same with the cavalry. I need to send my cavalry in here. I'm going to attack their left flank. Oh, th their right flank. Technically speaking, I'm going to attack their right flank. They're not, that is halberd infantry, so that isn't too good. Light halberd, though. So these guys, conflict right on the right side here. Just sending my cavalry in to sort of support them. Again, they're using light halberd infantry right there. I thought they had a lot of swordsmen for some reason. They do have giant militia, so... No saber cavalry. And my troops on the right side are fleeing a bit. Ready. The enemy unit flees. What cowards! Cavalrymen! Horses, stand ready. Sending on the left flank again. More the enemy, more horsemen. And they are folding on the front lines here, so my men are going to be tr marching in right in the tree line. As you can see them charging here, moving to take on these horsemen. Just good. Halberd infantry against horse. Very good. And the horsemen are getting on the right side, so this is a perfect perfect play here. My horsemen are sort of moving in right on the right side as my infantry are moving forwards. So I'm kind of cutting them off on the right side right as my troops are were supposed to go over there, but they're kind of caught fighting these mounted Lancer militia. Get over there, troops! Just a, a whole bit of a gong show going on here. Gonna slow this down. I see my troops kind of moving in there, kind of right on the edge of a uh, little holding it down on the enemy side. Blue banner. Concepts. The banners are winning. 
And this is the true. I am. I think I'm playing as Cao Cao. And we're forcing them, kind of herding them into the left side here of the riverbank. And they're... Yeah. So you can see my troops just emerging over the, on that hill, finally overtaking that hill. Kind of curving into the riverbed. This, uh, <laughs> this map I've played, like, near constantly in regards to these gaming streams. So we're going to have to switch it up. assault was worth it and you can see my bow cavalry now coming in kind of cutting them off as they sort of run away as they sort of uh, try to regroup here and they still got a decent amount of troops if they could just get a bit of time here guy's just walking right through my troops. He's just, nope, not today. I'm sort of slow walking there, like, something's going on right there. Bowman's just right in the mix of these enemy troops. You can see my my troops finally emerging onto the riverbed here. So those archers on my side kind of stopped the uh, regrouping. It was a bit unfair, the kind of troop uh, placement that I chose, I think, to a certain degree. And there's still some more here. I mean... For the most part, I, I did ha give them, like, Saber Militia. And we had superior cavalry to a certain degree. That is correct. There's a mustering happening on the edge of the map here. No, not the edge of the map. Right, actually, right in the middle of the map, but on the edge of the riverbed. Not nearly the end of the edge of the map. Holy smoke. Wrong on that one. Trying to spot who is left here, causing us not to be able to end this match. Bowman! Crossbowman! There it is, victory. I'm going to survey the battle here. Been some engagements over here. <clears throat> Respect to the dead. So, initial engagements right on the tree line on this hill. And I was late sending in the horsemen on the right side and the, and the left flank as well. Finally sent them in to sort of assist my troops. Which, there for, for a moment there, looked like they were going to win. And there was just something happened on the right flank, and the horsemen were able to emerge. The front lines on their enemy, uh, on the enemy side, sort of folded a bit, allowing my troops to march forth, and sort of put them in a bit of a, you know, rolling their lines with my right flank, 
with the right flank uh, of my cavalry, and then sort of my troops kind of herding them to the left flank to get across that riverbed, where then my bowmen on horseback kind of played spoiler and were stopping them from being able to move, which led to uh, a lot of blue on the ground. And yellow as well, technically speaking. Although, I think blue banner. Notice basically uh, the rest was sporadic fighting all the way, you know, throughout this hill. As you can see. Very good. Do another one. Yeah, Taukin. Taukin. And the cavalry doing the the bulk of the movement here. Yeah, even some of the other cavalry as well. Saber uh, cavalry. Well, even on their side, a decent amount. <coughs> the late Halberd infantry wasn't able to stop some of it. I, I feel like some of the game plan might have been to sort of get those horsemen with the Halberd infantry, but rather the uh, use these cavalry to sort of take on some of the foot soldiers, but it never fully manifested. Bowman. Agility and intellect. Mm. All right. So that's going to be on that side. We'll do agility and intellect. I think that'll be decent. On this side... Well, that would be interesting. Hmm. <laughs> you don't know why. That's what he wanted to go with. That's exactly what I want to go with. I want to go with good cheer and happiness. That's what you want to go with, eh? Yeah, happiness and good cheer against stamina and intellect. I don't know why. That's what they say. Well, I'm having for let knows that there is happiness and good cheer in regards to those that means for guys needed, as well as intellect and stamina in regards to those that means for guys needed. The way means guys needed. If need be, the way means for guys needed. Should wouldn't mean too much. True. There's a bit of a focus on the bows on the on the intellect and stamina side. I'm gonna go with those concepts. Sima Yi taking on Xu Chu. All right, these guys. He's gonna be bringing.
There we go. We're going to put these bowmen, put them at five. And the foot soldiers at five as well. And good cheer aside. Heavy spear guards. I like that. Heavy jaw infantry. Heavy tiger and leopard. Mercenary cavalry. Geon sword guards. Sword guards. Fury of Vai Hai. We're going to go with five on the cavalry. Six, actually, if that's what it's going to be. All right. Happiness and good cheer against intellect and stamina. I'm advocating for clarifications in regards to the uh, spiritual battles that Marine Spirit Guides negated in regards to smart amplification, etc. to Marine Spirit Guides, uh, the way Marine Spirit Guides negated. Light, do what Marine Spirit Guides negated uh, in regards to this smart amplification, etc. to Divide Marine Spirit Guides, were what they indicated for you to do in regards to this smart amplification, etc. to Divide Marine Spirit Guides, the way Marine Spirit Guides negated. Alright. Let's do this. Commanding these spears. First one's gonna go in alone. Hmm, maybe not. Eagle's wings. Oh, we can't with that, can we? Crane's left wing. Trying to go with stance here. Cautious dragon. Perfect. <laughs> I don't know why. We're gonna go. Cautious Dragon as well. Tiger's right claw. Little crane, right swing. Little four. Little there. One. These guys can all attack from over here, so I like that. Here. So, I got a Spears and Halberd on the right side in the forest. And I'm going to send my main bulk of my troops, swordsmen mostly, consisting of uh, three units of Saber Militia. No, four units of Saber Militia. Three units of Geon Sword Guards. So, medium and light. And also bringing along the uh, Fury of Vaihae. Light crossbow infantry. Also on the right side, I'm going to bring cavalry. So we're going to be really attacking from the right side here. Our hidden men have been seen.
archers start doing their work. Jun Sard guards are starting to go down. As they maneuver into position crossing that riverbed. Hold my cavalry, try and get these spearmen to get up here fast enough. And they're moving. Okay. Treachery. Hidden enemies. So I got attacked on the left side of the main attacking force here, drawing in other troops to try and support it. Your words are as pathetic as you and I'm giving the arrowmen time, which is maybe sending those spearmen on the right side wasn't the best idea. As you can see, more troops moving in now, finally to attack us. And you can see. A lot of fighting going on. Their cavalry is starting to retreat a bit. Right side, they need to get those spearmen in there. I'm going to send in my cavalry. Finally, because the bulk of my army is just holding off this large mass amount of troops and they're starting to fold. So finally the spearmen are arriving, crossing that riverbed and getting to where they need to go, hopefully. And I, as I send my cavalry right behind this force of axemen, which is getting in the way of my spearmen. back and forth with uh, my swords as they keep uh, sort of retreating and going back again. But the right flank is finally there. The horsemen are just getting through these enemy axemen. The spearmen are finally moving through too. The bowmen are doing their work. just get past these blasted foot soldiers we can get those archers and it'd be over I'm going to try and retreat my forces to see if we can redo this again. We still have a lot of decent. If I could just push them back. Let them come to us and maybe we can win this. Again with those archers though. men out of there right flank trying to f trying to get those spear guards out of there and they're just harassing us and the archers are finally firing upon us again it's not good It's a bit of a mess on this one. I don't think I'm going to win it. 
I'm sending my uh, forces for one more attack here. And they are swiping on the right side of my infantry, which was crossing the riverbed again. So I wasn't able to fully pull them back. I decided to charge again. Splitting them up wasn't the way, I don't think. Yeah, mishandled in and out. <laughs> I think on my on my part here. It's, they're still fighting though. And uh, the spearmen are crossing. Those bowmen really are working. Just getting on that middle landmass past certain setting. <laughs> and there it is. The spearmen are broken. And they saw the swordsmen. And that would be a close defeat. I saved one. You should.